I once knew a man that labeled people, but he labeled people in a positive way. He didn't mean it negative. He just did it to himself. Well, I heard him one day, and he said, well, that person really has potential, but they're an 85 percenter. And I said uh, to him one day, what do you mean that that person's an 85 percenter? He referred to another person as a 90 percenter, another person as a 70 percenter. He said, they'll be full steam like a locomotive on their goals, on their dreams, on accomplishing a project until they get to that certain point, 70 percent or 80 percent or 85 percent, and then they'll lose all steam, all power, all motivation, all desire, and give up. Well, I thought at first when I heard this, this was very judgmental, but then over the years, as I've grown older, I realize the incredible wisdom in that. I once asked that man, looking at him right in his eyes, I said, well, what percentage am I? And he said, well, he said, you're about a 90 percenter. And you know something? He was right. I would go at something full steam until about 90 percent of the project, and then I'd just quit. I'd quit 10 percent away from victory, 10 percent away from accomplishment, personal satisfaction. I would quit. How many people are that way? I've noticed people, and you can pretty well look at their entire life, and you can figure out what percentage they are. Well, maybe we're only 85 percent, and maybe we're only 90 percent, and maybe that's all that we have in us at a given point. But when we go to God, you'll discover, as I've discovered, you will be a 100 percenter 100 percent of the time. When you're losing steam, when you're losing your power and your energy, like the Energizer Bunny with a, with a battery on its back and running out of power, of the human power, you'll have a new power come inside of your mind and inside of your body, and you won't give up. You'll have that second wind, that second steam to keep you going, and you will be 100% every part of the day every part of the month, every part of your life. It has been a major turnaround for my life, not to just be 85% or 90% at something, but 100% and more. To, to have that and to know that when you start something, you're going to finish something. And even though you start something and you don't know how to finish something, God does. And that is where the real spiritual power comes in. It comes in our mind. It comes in our bodies. It comes in our vision where we're able to see from the end and walk towards it. So my prayer for you and for me this day is that we will always be a hundred percenter. We will always be a person that starts and finishes with success. That we will be the type of person that doesn't give up too early, right before the victory finish line. How many times I have I know you have, because we're both human. And uh, how many times we were so close to victory that we were just a hair away if we would have only had the stamina, the power, the vision to keep going. Well, God will give us that, and God will give us more. We will have the power for 100% of a project today and 100% tomorrow. We will gain in our energy as we keep completing things at 100%. So, today, 
I pray and I wish for you 100%. God bless you.